Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xnick here and today we're going to test a new deck. It's built around the Nicole Bolas the Ravager uh, two-sided card. A 4-4 dragon with flying of course for one side and a powerful planeswalker on the other side. Let's see if we can make this one work. I don't think this card is actually strong in the standard format. Looks more like uh, something that you will play in a commander deck. But anyways, that's not going to stop me from trying. So what is the deal here? We have to run blue, black and red. So we have uh, lots of lands. Yeah, prob probably this could be better with a better selection of lands. But that's what we have here. Then we're going to be trying to use some surveilling and something to send our cards to the graveyard and then try to get the creatures back from the graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, that's the major plan over here, a bit of control spells. We could uh, use some counters that I don't like using counter spells. Uh, Dark Dweller Oracle may be nice. We have a recursive thing with the skeletons and the squeam. Uh, well, that, that should be it. Let's see if we can do something. We also happen to run Tesseret Artifices, Artifice Master, which is a, a, a good looking planeswalker. Let's go ahead and try to find... Can I flip the Nicole Bolas? That the major goal is not actually to win any game today. It's just to see if we can flip our planeswalker. Thing. The problem is that it takes a lot of mana to do so. You have to play the dragon, which is at least four mana with the three colors. And then you have to pay seven to, to transform it. Uh, uh, not sure if that's doable. Okay. Um, I like having the Twilight Prophet in hand because this guy, this card is so cool. Uh, of course, it's hard to activate, but it provides us with so much. Let's play our first tapped land. Then, if we want to play Gateway Plaza, it's quite uh, it's pretty expensive since we have to pay one mana to play our land that enters tapped. So yeah, but at any rate, opponent is going with uh, Night Land. Then after the gateway is played, we have cool stuff with the reassembling skeleton. Now we found another, therefore we might just play on curb the navigator's compass. Gain three life. Now we can also transform one of our lands into a basic one of any kind which in turn is going to help us playing with our three color deck opponent with two islands so far only blue no planes and combat the game waits for the activation of the navigator's compass um, i think the music the music is fine it's a bit it's the, it's the game music not too impressive but it's it's fine The opponent carefully looking at the cards in hand. Another land. Okay then. Now do you counter the reassembling skeleton? He does not use the counter spell. Let's see, do you have a draw spell over there? If he has hand disruption we might lose the connive, uh, connive, how do you read that thing? Uh, the concot could be cool to use today. No, he's returning the skeleton to my hand. No, oh, so, so clever. Blink of an eye. OK, 
Okay, the opponent still with more instants up there. Ah, oh, this Kittering Surveyor. Do you think this is going to resolve? I hope so. Let's see if we can find a mountain. It resolves. Let's play the mountain. Pass the turn. It's nice. This is this guy is just cool. One two, search for search for searches for the basic land. Opponent with memorial to genius. Oh, thank you. He's returning the surveyor to my hand. That's kind of gentle gentle from the opponent. End combat. My turn. Uh, let's see what is the opponent doing actually. Let's take a look at the opponent's hand. Okay, planeswalkers, what uh, This is scary, but let's throw away the planeswalker. And we're going to surveil that one, we are going to keep. And play the skeleton. We know now the opponent has the water knot, some other stuff. Now that angel is going to be problematic for us, but hopefully we get to do something about it. Yeah, well, we have the Meteor Golem at some point in the game. What are not? Results. Someday we are going to sacrifice the skeleton, but for the time being, we could we could do it actually now, but we don't get to see what is that card. So I think we can wait just a little bit. This goes well with the surveil. Take action. Get another. Just we since we have just one. Let's take another mountain over there. And we can now play the plaza here. Proceed to combat. Attack with nothing. So the opponent now has two unknown cards. Mm. Wow, that's a cool thing. Mm, he can he can be used oh final parting that's pretty sweet since we can now try to find the planeswalker but I think we instead we should be play the Twilight Prophet first and let's transform no, we don't need to do this we are going to play this. Combat attack with the survey. Oh, and now the opponent has left the game. He did not like losing the planeswalker, apparently. Ah, planeswalkers are overrated. Not really, there are. Some of the planeswalkers are very scary. Ah, okay. Come on, let's let's see if we can flip that Nicol Bolas already. Mm, well, we have the Dark Dweller, we cannot play it just yet, but we also have the Discovery. We can play it turn one, Barrier of Bones, try to find some land. That's exactly it. So we keep the land on top. Hello. The Storm Tamer, you say. All right. If I play this, I can quasi duplicate my Barrier of Bones. It means that I cannot play the Storm Tamer just now, but does it really matter? Ah, the point of damage. I could actually 
Surveil 2 first. Yeah, let's do surveillance. Hostage taker, nice. Well, let's put this one on the graveyard. When I have the hostage taker to take care, if the opponent taps down, we can steal the storm tamer. Uh, otherwise, we should wait. Well, still we are lacking mana, but oh, the snipe one land to steal those guys. Ah, oh, close enough. Take action. Take uh, reds. No attackers. Uh, no point into attacking here. We are now. We have tapped down. We cannot use the ability of the storm tamer. But who knows what's going to happen? The opponent's going to the throat for the throat with this. Hmm. <coughs> He probably wants to kill the Storm Tamer as soon as possible. Um, what if I try to... I'm going to try to take away the Gutter Snipe. And I expect the opponent to just sacrifice the Storm Tamer here. Counter spell. I cannot counter the counter spell with the Storm Tamer. Sadly, no attackers. But we can quasi duplicate something, anyways. Uh, what are you targeting? Okay, we can counter that. It seems to be a reasonable play. If X equals 5 or more, we cannot counter that thing. Um, let's duplicate this Kittering Surveyor. Take action. We create a copy of the token. Let's drop one of these. Move to combat. We could sacrifice a creature, but we exile something that we don't know, we have no clue what is our next card. So not yet. Maybe I can quasi duplicate the barrier of bones, then I surveil, then I... Yeah, that's kind of maybe a waste, but the, the opponent with red and blue is pretty scary. Uh, uh, this Bainfire we cannot counter anyways. It takes lots of damage. In combat, it would be a good time for... Oh, that's a good one. Let's play this. And we might be willing to quasi-duplicate this thing. And Transient Melody, hello. That's a good one for us. I think I'm going to duplicate the Barrier of Bones. No, I don't have mana. So let's just play this guy. And go to combat with... No, go to combat with you. Let's see if the opponent likes to block this thing. Of course not. End the turn. Okay, uh, with an empty hand, this is not a good. It's not a threat for us yet. My turn. Radical idea, nice. Draw something. Connive. Um, do we have something? Yeah, we have the hostage taker. I think we are going to surveil three. Oh, 
Well, none of these we want to send into the graveyard, actually. So let's take the hostage taker. We're going to try to take the gutter snipe to our side, which is not going to happen, but the opponent loses the flyer. Oh, he, he allowed it to resolve. That's amazing. So attack with these things. And these two also go. I was expecting the opponent to activate the Storm Tamer, which is kind of a surprise because now we can we can quasi duplicate the hostage taker. We can play the Gutter Snipe to deal a lot of damage to the opponent. Wow, that's that was strange indeed. I. I cannot use the jump start. Uh, anyways, he has a counter spell. Doesn't read. We don't care. Uh, we but given that we used surveil, we know what to do with this thing. So let's sacrifice the barrier of bones. And we can cast this thing, destroy thing, uh, remove our surveyor, gain a few life. Then the opponent is now empty handed. We're going to attack with everybody. There you are. Now I have to remember that uh, I need to discard a card to use the, the jump start. Oh, thank you, opponent. In combat, we're going to be drawing this Braska's Contempt. Mm. I need to draw. Oh. Well, what do you think? I think I'm going to use this to take away this fellow. Goodbye. Combat. Attack. Mm. No attackers today. Oh, the opponent just drew uh, he's attacking, which is a very, very bad idea. No blockers. My turn. He is now... <sighs> opponent, what did you do? What did you do, opponent? Thank you for your card. Attack with everybody. You're taking tons of damage here. We do have no blocker. And now we have... Yeah. What are you going to do, opponent? Uh, now I cannot play my dragon. Oh, three to the face. He killed himself. Okay. Thank you. I think the opponent was too greedy. He should have let go that a siren when he can... Okay, let's play one more time. Still, the deck looks not so bad, actually. As a matter of fact, having the Nicole Bolas here is probably making the deck play worst. It's pr probably this could be a better deck without the thing. Look at this hand. This is a pretty cool one. Keep this guy. Too bad that the the plaza enters tab. That this is a nice land, but I think we could do better. Else, vicious offering. Probably we want to take care of that thing right away. Let's not risk it. No, do not g let the opponent get additional mana. 
do it off the call. Oh, I like this guy, so I want, I'm going to play this. Pay and barrier of bones. Surveil. Uh, land at uh, this land. It's, it's a good one if we find. Okay. So the plan is to play the sky scanner. We can steal the druid of the cowl today later. So let's play this. Draw maybe we draw a basic land. It's not. So we, I could still take away the Druid of the Cull to gain more mana. The Skeleton is good, a good blocker for that stuff, so I think I just block with the wall here. I, I, oh, Vigilance. Uh, Play this. Um, exile. This is an instant, so yeah. I think we're going to use our instant to save the sky scanner, and of course, a lot of damage to our head. Oh, Galta, why? It had to be Galta. This guy has trample. Oh boy. I don't think we are winning this one, guys. Sorry. Unless, of course, we find a strong removal for the thing. What can we do here? Oh, the opponent had a beautiful hand and we do not well i can try my luck and try to use the concot here do you think i think taking that thing that small thing is not going to do anything good for us uh don't even have anything in the graveyard. Let's put the Cinder Barrens down. And return the Siren Storm Tamer to the board. Uh, this is looking awful. We oh, used 16 16 ouch this is going to hurt uh, even if we can take care of that oh uh, no he's killing me just now uh, even with Braska's contempt we weren't going to be able to deal with that ah uh, the opponent had a really good opening hand. Oh. Oh. Okay, one more time. Uh, this is going to be the final test game. And hopefully we get to see that Nicole Bolas. Uh, this should help us. We don't have... Well, we have the navigator's compass, so we should be set for our colors. And we just need to be drawing more cards. Since there were no rush into playing the compass just yet, so it's better to drop our tablet lands first. Red, I have the strong suspicion that the opponent is going with red and white. Hopefully, Ritual of Suit is going to be to prove useful.
Let's transform this Cinder Barrens into an island so we can play the Storm Tamer. Maybe she eats one of the opponent's removals. He has a uh, he has something that can kill the Storm Tamer. Goodbye, Siren Storm Tamer goes down the grave, down the drain. <sighs> Come on, opponent, use your shock. No shock. What? Green and red. Mm hmm. Okay, let's hope we find more lands so we can have the Ritual of Suit in time. Opponent, okay, here it is, our land. Proceed to combat, attack. The opponent is about to kill the Siren Storm Tamer. Okay, the opponent carefully thinking about the shock. Here it comes. Finally. Finally, it took so long. Okay, um, this red is not going to survive too long, so we need three artifacts or more to draw two cards. But if we can get this red to give us the emblem, it's going to be incredibly useful. We are going to have connive next turn. Okay, barrier of bones, sword build. We would like uh, more lands. That's a, that's a slow land, but we are going to take it anyways. Opponent with just two lands, uh, that's going to give us a uh, breathing room but he can ramp at any time. Draconic Disciple. What if I take away that guy to my side? Do I dare to do so? Hello. Thank you for the mana. Pass the turn. We now can cast the Tesseret. This guy can be sacrificed to give us a dragon. We might be doing that at some point if the opponent does not shock his own guy. Oh, the raptor. Good thing we have a wall to block this thing. My turn. Sky scanner, I think. What do you think? I can't play this, start. Ramping up this thing. Yeah, I think we go with that. Pass the turn. Too bad we cannot play the land, but we're getting closer to have our third act artifact. But also ramping up Tesseret is going to prove very valuable. Anyways, we have Ritual of Soot. It can, this is a 4 mana. We can kill anything with 3 mana or less. Which mostly are our own creatures. Okay, the opponent carefully thinking, does he want to attack into our planeswalker? No. Go to my turn. A land, which is not bad. Let's play the sky scanner first. We have the compass anyways to get... Oh, that's actually cool. We get to see what is the opponent in the opponent's hand.
Oh, so um, I think we are going to remove the lightning strike from the opponent's hand. But too bad that now, can we save Tesseret? Let's draw two cards. I think Tesseret is not going to tell the story. Okay, Vicious Offering, that's lovely. We are not attacking, so pass the turn. So he is going to use Bane Fire on the Fire Freebooter. No, oh, Trample and Haste. Oh no. He's going to kill Tesseret. Oh no. He's just attacking my face, is he? Yeah, it seems to be the case. And... I think I, I'm going to trade these th two things here. We know he has Pelaka Worm, the Ferocidons, Bain Fire. He's losing the 4 2. This guy does nothing. We take 5, but that should. Oh, look at this! Nice! So we're going to use the Reassembling Skeleton, Vicious Offering right away. Tesseret is heading towards the emblem, and I think okay, it's about time we drop the this thing. Okay, but we can we can make no, not yet, but we're going to be able to. I should attack with this guy, but who knows? Maybe we need the mana for something. Uh, one more land and we can have a 5-5 five five dragon for us. I, ha I like having this in hand because the opponent has... Oh, so much stuff. He could try to... He could try to... Enrage his own Silvercraft Ferocidons, attack it with the, his own Bane Fire. That that doesn't do much, opponent. My turn. Nice. Get more topters and more loyalty for Terseret. And I can even make the dragon. And this is an instant, so I think we pass the turn, we can return the skeleton at the end of the opponent's turn, in, at any rate. Let's see what the opponent does here. Six mana for the opponent, still cannot play these large things. He could use Bane Fire on the free booter, probably the best move. But then he is losing the Bane Fire to do so. He could use Bane Fire on the Raptor too. Might be a clever way to play. But we can answer with the Braska if he tries to do something crazy. So here I'm going to try to. Oh, he's going to use the Bane Fire for a total of. He's going to shoot Tesseret or the Freebooter. Right. 
right? The opponent's carefully counting what to do. Hmm. He's going to target the kite. Okay, go ahead and do it. I don't know why he used so much mana to do that. Hello, dragon. All right. <laughs> the dragon survives. My turn. All right. Let's get another colorless sopter or draw two cards. Oh, sopter. We know the opponent has the lightning strike up there. So let's just play it safe for the time being. I'm going to attack with this dragon. Yeah, let's do it. I could also send the topters in, but who knows, maybe we need to draw. We maybe we need to block seven mana ready for the opponent. He wants to use lightning strike because Tesseret is about to give us the emblem. Oh, thank you. So we have the emblem. Okay, we are going to see Nicol Bolas today. Get this out. Yes. Does not attack, okay. Oh, even better. All right, hello, emblem. We have a powerful air attack here. We have a blocker over there. Um, only seven mana, otherwise I would already play the Whisper. Let's end the turn, we're going to... Of course, you... Where, where is the... We were about to draw Nicol Bolas. Ah. <laughs> Fire! We can flip it right away. Hmm, we have the mana to flip Nicole Bolas. That's interesting. Oh, nice. What happened? What's happening with this lightning strike? Why is the lightning strike on the graveyard? Oh, because of. Oh, of course, because of Nicole Wallace. That's that's right. Okay, attack. He's throwing in like a worm. But it happens to be the case that we are not going to let the opponent draw. Oh. This is very nasty. Guys, sorry. I know. What, what is the opponent saying? The opponent's... Mother's name is Marta. Hmm. Maybe we do not kill the opponent yet. Then we have little. No. We ask not Marta. Oh. That's the problem with this deck. The fight. It's very slow to get that Nicole Wallace. The moment you have it, the game is already over. So we are going to call it a day. We got to put the guy on the board. And we are going to try again sometime soon. 
Let's see what we get here. Maniacal Rage, Spinal Centipede, uh, Choo Choo Flying Haste, pretty aggressive. Dark Black Agent, 2 3 with sometimes Death Touch and Draw. Street Riot. Uh, oh, this is an enchantment. Wow. Uh, in the right deck, this could be drastic. Has the Marshal, super aggressive 1 1. Whenever this guy and at least two other creatures attack, it creates a 1 1 soldier. And another Ritual of Soot. Wow. That's very nice because I had only one. This is my second one. All right. See you soon, guys. Until next time, sayonara.